How's how's it feel sort of being a, a bit more of an experienced sort of editor, particularly, I mean, bearing in mind, I May Destroy You has become such an incredible success. Uh, how, how has that sort of changed? Uh, I mean, has it changed anything for you with regards to the editing? No, I still panic every day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, I, st I, I still can't believe I'm now doing the dream job that I never thought that I, I would, you know, I was happy assisting. I loved being an assistant and it's hard, you know, you, it, it is hard to make that jump and you never know when it's going to happen. And like, I was seeing a lot of my friends, they, they've jumped up a lot sooner than me. Like, I, how long have you been doing it now? Like, I've been editing well, for quite a while. <laughs> well, yes and no. I kind of, I cut a feature in, in in 2014 and then went back to assisting because I kind of I hadn't really done much editing before that and then I did this feature which got into the London Film Festival and South by Southwest and I don't think I realized at the time how sort of big that was and didn't realize that that was actually an opportunity to sort of properly step up so I went back and yeah. assisted for three years uh, on three year-long projects and it was and it was only sort of at the end of that that I was like I I don't actually want to assist anymore, which was kind of a bit heartbreaking because I'd loved assisting. And I realized yeah. actually I'd, I'd, I'd fallen out of love with it. It actually wasn't what I wanted to do anymore. I actually wanted to be cutting. Um, mm. So it was only uh, maybe 2018, I think I did call the midwife. Yeah, I, I just felt like I started to think like, I was, you, you take these massive big jobs and then I was like maybe I'm doing the wrong thing because I felt like other people were jumping up and I was like maybe I should try and do small like shorter projects and uh yeah I mean well you've had some success with your shorts actually because you also whilst doing I May Destroy You you cut a short film for for our friend Rosie which is doing yes. very well <laughs> yeah another uh, yeah a film called uh, Just Delivered which again I, I was working on a Saturday and um, I went in because uh, Jason actually wanted to go to set because they were filming I May Destroy You in a pub that day. So mm. I was like, well, I'll go into work on Saturday, do my short film until like three and then we'll go to the pub because it was going to be the last uh, scene of the day. So I was like, so are you suggesting Jason only wanted to go to set because they're filming in a pub? Well, it was either the pub or a different scene. And so I was like, I want to go and watch the one that's been filmed in the pub because then this obviously was before COVID. I was like, we can have a pint after. So let's go and do that one. And obviously it, it had um, Michaela and Terry. It's when um, uh, Terry goes crazy because they've just outed Zane and she's like, oh my God. Oh yeah, they're all, they're, the socials have all blown up and they're yeah, all- it was that scene. And it was in central London. Um, but weirdly, I came into work to do the short film with Rosie and you were next door working mm, and mm. it turns out that you also knew each other. I did, yeah. Again, another small world and a, a link 